How good will Matthew Stafford be for the Los Angeles Rams this upcoming NFL season? We got to talk about it. I want to give a special shout out to the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. So Manscaped recently just launched their Lawnmower 4.0. And listen, if you are a guy who does a lot of shaving underneath, the Lawnmower 4.0 is the perfect tool for you because listen, my first time shaving a couple of months ago went terrible. I had a bunch of scrapes, I had a bunch of bruises, and I also had patches because I didn't even finish the job. So when Manscaped sent me the Lawnmower 4.0, I used it and I was a little bit scared, okay? Because I was like, you know, I ain't trying to give myself patches and give myself injuries like I did last time, my first time shaving. But when I used the Lawnmower 4.0, let me tell you guys something. It was a easy process I had no scrapes no bruises it was no pain listen if you're a guy who does a lot of shaving underneath make sure that you guys go ahead and cop the lawnmower 4.0 use my promo code JT for 20% off plus free shipping off your manscape purchase once again make sure that you guys use promo code JT for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping your balls will thank you a couple of months ago at the start of this year's off season the Detroit Lions trade away longtime franchise quarterback Matthew Stafford to the LA Rams in exchange for a couple of first round draft picks and Jared Goff in return. Now, do you guys want to know something that's absolutely crazy to me? There are some Detroit Lions fans out there who believe that they upgraded at the quarterback position with Jared Goff. And when I see a Detroit Lions fan telling me that Jared Goff is an upgrade from Matthew Stafford, I do nothing but laugh. Because let me tell you Rams fans something. A lot of people in the NFL, believe it or not, do not actually know how good Matthew Stafford was. You see, I feel like Matthew Stafford has to be the second most hated quarterback in the NFL behind Lamar Jackson, and he may be the most underappreciated quarterback in NFL history. Matthew Stafford got so much of the blame in Detroit for Detroit not having good teams around them, not having great head coaches, and having a dysfunctional franchise. And somehow Matthew Stafford just has to be the blame for Detroit Lions fans to shoulder on because for some reason people think that win-loss record is a quarterback stat and it's not. Win-loss record is a team stat, not a quarterback stat. So for the Los Angeles Rams... You're getting a guy who I definitely believe is going to be good enough to get you to the Super Bowl. You're getting a guy who is going to be in the MVP discussion. You're getting a guy who is going to elevate this offense to the best offense in the NFL this year. Everything that Matthew Stafford never had in Detroit, guess what he has in LA? He has a good head coach, and Sean McVay, who is not only one of the best play callers in the NFL, but he's one of the best head coaches in the NFL. He has a great group of wide receivers. You have Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Van Jefferson, who's going to have a breakout year, tied in Tyler Higbee. Oh, guess what? Matthew Stafford is also going to be having a great offensive line, something that he rarely had in Detroit. And you want to know the most important thing that Matthew Stafford is going to have in Detroit? He is actually going to have a legitimate run game. Do you know that in the majority of Matthew Stafford's games that he's played as a Detroit Lion, he only had a 100-yard rusher and a handful of those games? And on top of that, the Rams have a really good defense. So for Matthew Stafford, Matthew Stafford is going to have an incredible season for the Los Angeles Rams. And he's going to put the whole entire NFL world on notice. Because there's a lot of people who don't know how good Matthew Stafford is because he played in Detroit. Now he's going to LA, the city of angels, in the big market when the Rams are going to be playing nationally in pretty much every single game they're going to be competing in. Everybody is going to find out how good Matthew Stafford is. And when this season ends, everybody's going to be asking the question, what the heck was Detroit doing with Matthew Stafford? How did they waste this great quarterback? Listen, Matthew Stafford is one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL. Everybody talks about Patrick Mahomes doing these no-look touchdown passes and all these passes from different body angles. But Matthew Stafford 
been doing those throws. He's been making no-look passes. You want to know the difference between his no-look passes and Patrick Mahomes' no-look passes? Everybody pays attention to when Patrick Mahomes does it, but nobody pays attention to when Matthew Stafford does it because he played for the Detroit Lions. Aaron Rodgers went on the Pat McAfee show a couple of months ago. I believe this was during the regular season. And Pat McAfee brought up Patrick Mahomes, no-look throws and things like that. And Aaron Rodgers said, you know who's been doing those no-look throws for over the last couple of years? He wears number nine. He plays for the Detroit Lions, Matthew Stafford. So if Matthew Stafford makes one of those Patrick Mahomes-like throws this year, everybody's going to pay attention because he's playing in a bigger market with the team that is going to be really good. I believe that Matthew Stafford is going to be able to get the Rams to the NFC Conference Championship game. I think with Matthew Stafford at quarterback, he makes the Rams the second best team in the NFC behind Tampa Bay. And that's what I expect the NFC Championship game to be this year between the LA Rams and Tampa Bay this year. I am a big Matthew Stafford fan. And I'm not going to allow Lions fans to bring down Matthew Stafford and act like Matthew Stafford was all of the problem in Detroit because he wasn't. So... For you Lions fans out there who are watching this video, if you think Jared Goff is an upgrade for Matthew Stafford, then you can go ahead and live in your world of delusionality. Jared Goff was inconsistent, and on top of that, he regressed every single year after he led the Rams to the Super Bowl a couple of years back when they were defeated by the New England Patriots. So after that Super Bowl, Jared Goff got worse and worse every single year. You're looking at a guy, Matthew Stafford, who is a top 10 quarterback talent-wise. So, Rounds fans, Matthew Stafford is going to elevate this team to new heights. He was literally carrying the Detroit Lions on his back to the point that he pretty much played with the half broken back a couple of years ago. Like, literally, I'm not making this up. Like, he had a back injury, and he was still playing. This dude is one of the toughest quarterbacks ever in NFL history. This dude literally had a back injury from carrying the Detroit Lions on his freaking back, man. Like, Matthew Stafford is going to be phenomenal. I'm probably going to have to buy me a Matthew Stafford jersey because I'm a big believer in what Matthew Stafford is going to do this year because a lot of people like to blame Matthew Stafford for everything that happened in Detroit, and I think that is incredibly unfair. Because he was never put in a situation to actually succeed long term in Detroit. It was always a revolving door at head coach. And on top of that, he didn't really have any good head coaches. Yes, he had Calvin Johnson for a couple of years, but he didn't have a defense. He didn't have any semblance of a run game aside from Reggie Bush going crazy a couple of years ago. So for Matthew Stafford, this guy is going to be a very very good quarterback for the Rams this year. He's probably going to be in the MVP discussion. He's probably going to end this season being a pro bowler for the second time in his NFL career. Like this dude, Matthew Stafford, man, it's just so many good things to say about him, man. Like he does so much. Like he can improvise. He can buy some time in the pocket. He has one of the strongest arms in the NFL. And you look at this receiving core, you look at this off the line, and with an innovative play caller like Sean McVay, he is going to bring the best out of Matthew Stafford that we haven't seen yet. Like we still haven't seen Matthew Stafford reach his full potential. And that may sound crazy to say because you're like JT, hasn't this guy been in the league for like well over like a decade or so yes that is true but you got to look at it Detroit held back Matthew Stafford now Matthew Stafford's true potential is going to be on lease it's like for all of my Dragon Ball fans out there you remember when Gohan went to the Grand Elder or whatever I think that's what his name was I forgot what it was but basically he unlocked Gohan's true potential and that's how we got mystic um Gohan so when you look at Matthew Stafford he's going to Sean McVay and I think Sean McVay is going to unlock a side of Matthew Stafford that we have never seen 
And I cannot wait for the Los Angeles Rams to play the Detroit Lions so Matthew Stafford can poop on the Lions and all of the Lions fans who talk down on him. And you want to know what's crazy? Matthew Stafford can have 500 yards and six touchdowns against the Detroit Lions. And Lions fans still are going to talk down on Matthew Stafford. They're going to say, well, he has a great team around him, blah, 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 blah. Lions fans are going to realize what they had at Matthew Stafford and how they wasted Matthew Stafford. When you see Matthew Stafford having all this success for the Rams this year, Lions fans are going to look back and they're going to be like, man, why didn't Matthew Stafford ever play like this when he was with the Lions? You want to know why? Because he never had a good team around him. Never had a good head coach. Never had a run game. Never really had that great of an offensive line in Detroit. So for the Rams... Matthew Stafford definitely makes this team a legitimate Super Bowl contender and a legitimate threat to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So you guys let me know how good you guys feel Matthew Stafford will be this year for the Los Angeles Rams. Make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.